after, but it also gives you more mental and physical preparation for, for um, facing you know the tournament. You only have to play three games, and I think that four games in a row is really difficult to achieve that, so I think three games just increases your chances of making it to that game on Sunday. Are you concerned at all about the relaxation of the team? Having number two seed, are you guys? Not at all. I don't think that the number really stands for anything other than that you get another day off. Um, any team, is, you know, the Big Ten tournament is really um, a chance for someone to lash out who has maybe not done that well during the season and to grab that Big Ten title. It's up in the air, I think, with any, anybody. And um, as competitive as the Big Ten is, that's pretty much what it's going to be. It's going to be a very competitive weekend, I think, with a lot of upsets. Uh, people are going to play at their highest level and, and give, it, give it their all. Before you guys know, I mean, I know you preach a lot about the team aspect of this team this year. What does it mean to four of you guys? I mean, I think that that's incredible. Uh, like I said, you know, a lot of teams on the Big Ten have one or two players that are, you know, huge um, impacts for their teams and score a lot of points. But for us, it's more evened out, and it, that shows with the amounts of awards that we're given. I think that um, you can't really say, oh, well, you know, uh, A.B., Julia, uh, Nikki, and Maggie got awards. You know, this is our team, basically. I mean, Mia has done an incredible job. Java has done an incredible job. Everyone has contributed in their own little Way. And I think that that's the most important thing. Um, those awards, you know, are just recognition from the Big Ten. But for us, we recognize that everyone has an integral part in this, in this team, uh, team sport. So for us, it's just another, I don't know, label, I guess. <laughs> Joined by Maggie Lucas. Well, it's the month of March. Good month for basketball. Heading to Indianapolis, a great state for basketball. First Big Ten tournament. What are your thoughts? Um, I'm definitely anxious to get out there and start playing. Um, it's a lot of build up this week. You know, you don't know who you're going to play yet. So, you know, we're just going to focus on what we have to take care of and what's important for us to win. And, you know, we're going to play whoever wins the Indiana Purdue game. Um, whoever that is, you know, we got to focus on what we're doing. What we're doing, not what they're doing as much. So, um, I'm excited for that. Does the mindset change at all when you know you might play three days in a row, you know, wearing on your body, that type of thing? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you think about that, but, I mean, we've already done that once this season. We did, we practiced that out in Cancun. I mean, that was set up for a reason. Um, they wanted us to be able to handle that. And, uh, you know, this time it would be a lot better to go 3-0 and instead of 2-1. and So um, we're focused on doing that and, um, you know, just one game at a time. What are you hoping to accomplish as a team, and not necessarily wins and losses-wise, but how would you like to play this weekend? Um, you know, I think we just got to keep our pace up, you know, always pushing the ball. Um, that's our, one of our biggest strengths, and when we push it and get the ball off the court, you know, anyone's a weapon on our team. And, um, and then offensively, when we don't have transition, just run our offense through, set good screens for each other, and, you know, just, you know, work, to, work as a team. Maggie, best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Joined by Mia Nixon. Mia, well, you're traveling to the Big Ten tournament for the first time as a player. What do you expect? I expect physical play. I think it's going to be really difficult to, you know, win against all the teams compacted. It's going to be a great time, though. I'm excited. Um, I have this is my first experience there. So I'm just, you know, excited to play at Casico. I've never played there before. And, um, you know, I've never played against, like, so much talent in one building. So I'm kind of excited about that, too. As a number two seed, how much confidence does that give you and the rest of the team heading into the tournament? I think it gives a lot of confidence. We like the bracket that we're in. And um, we're just excited because, you know, we worked really hard to get there. And we wanted number one. but made a lot of strides from last year to this year. What's the mindset like knowing that you might play two or three day, games and days in a row? Well, we practiced this when we went to Cancun. Um, the coaches put that in the beginning of the season so we know what it's like. We know what our bodies are going to feel like, but we got to get mentally prepared and, you know, the physical play will, you know, might drown off or die down a little bit by the third day, but as long as we're mentally prepared, it should be a, a good time. Best of luck. Thank you.